me today. Amen. He's told us to, sh told us to shake the dust. Let go of all those things that we let hinder us. And those things that keep us bound up. We got to let those things go. And go forth in the name of Jesus Christ. God has equipped us and he's given us everything that we need. If you're here today and you do not know Jesus Christ in the morning of your sins, we invite you to come to the altar today and confess the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. God made a way for you. Jesus gave his life for you and I so that we don't have to be eternally separated from him. Jesus paid the price. The blood of Jesus cleansed us. The blood of Jesus washed us and brought us back into our right relationship with him. The Bible says that God so loved the world, he loved you and I, that he gave his only begotten son. And whosoever shall believe in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. If you're here today and you've not invited the Lord Jesus Christ into your heart, and ask Him to be your Lord and Savior. Won't you come today? Won't you come today? And receive new life in Jesus Christ. New life today in Jesus Christ. The second invitation that I extend is whatever your need is. The altar is open for prayer. Come. Give God your burdens. Cast your cares on Him. Trust in Him. That he will make a way. Amen. Thank you. 
them to full membership. God bless you. Yes. Amen. Reach out to the counselors. 
those who are trying to help help God. That he will share, he will talk. So that they can get to the root of whatever is going on with him that is giving him his desires. And God, we even ask that you would come destroy that root and renew the right spirit in him. Help him, God, to at this time to depend on your word, to be able to call on your word when his faith seems to be weak, God. For we know that you can do all things and because he's your child, you said that nobody could pluck him out of your hands and that you would uphold him with your victorious hands. Minister to his soul that there's nothing that he's going through that's too hard for you. And that you have told him, tell him God. You've already said it in your word. D'Angelo, if you just cast your cares on me, cast them because I care for you. Lord, you sent forth your word. And you hid and saved people from their own destruction. And Lord, we're asking you to do it, God, one more time. To wipe any thoughts of ending his life out of his mind. But Lord, direct him to the resources that he needs to help him, God. The resources on this earth. While he looks to the hills from which cometh his help. You know his help comes from you. But Lord, on this earth, lead him to where he needs to go on this earth. For the help. To help him. Touch his heart that he will be receiving of the help that you sent, God.
kind of touchy and edgy and snappy and, and, and we don't know what's going on with them on the inside. We don't know because they're holding everything in. Sometimes we have to be able to understand that. that that may not be their normal demeanor but something has to be there. And if we can be of support to this family we need to be. Amen? Amen. 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 Um, so we, we're getting ready to close out. Um, ben Mobley, who is running candidate for insurance commissioner, and is, is supposed to be with us this afternoon, as well as our Lieutenant Governor, Matt Dillon. Um, I believe we're expecting help as well, and I do believe that uh, Rick Samuel Chick, I think he's running for representative, right? I believe he's coming as, as well. Let us stand and get ready to be six. Amen.